Jack, first off, let's give you the official welcome to Buffalo. Well, thank you very much. I'm looking forward to it. Now, I know you had some time traveling through there back in your playing days. Do you remember much about the ballpark and the atmosphere? Uh, big league all the way. Uh, great fans, uh, always put them in the seats and, and had competitive baseball. The teams there, I know, have always been uh, known for winners, and that's what we're looking to do this year is bring that, uh, bring that, th that type of atmosphere back to uh, Buffalo. Hitting coach last year struggled a little bit because the team struggled to score some runs. You look at the numbers, this team, you should have an easy job. Well, I, I, I hope so. Let, let's hope that it is. I mean, I'm, I'm a big believer that the, the, the players can make the hitting coach look really good, but I also believe that if they're not performing, then that's my fault. So they're going to get the credit. I'm going to take the blame. And, uh, but that's, that's how I learned to do it when I played from the good hitting coaches I had. So uh, we give them a plan. We, we give them an, uh, a way to get it done. And if, if it doesn't work, we go back at it the next day. Jack, who are some of the guys that influenced you? you not only the way you teach but the way you play uh greg biagini for one of them uh who was my manager and my hitting coach in the big leagues in baltimore uh i've had some good ones along the way lamar johnson in milwaukee actually who's our hitting coordinator here with the mets um and then and then just being around some pretty good hitters in my career harold baines cal ripken jr uh rafi palmero some of those guys um you know it, it's good when you're a bench player like i was as that extra guy i had a lot of time to watch these guys perform and watch how they went about their business and that's what i've tried to do as a coach is just kind of pick can choose little things from each guy and then make it as simple as possible. What are you picking up on spring training and seeing these guys work on the side fields that you think can roll right over into the season? Well, that we've got a veteran club. We've got a lot of guys that have been around. We have a number of players that are um, you know, going to return with Jesus Feliciano and Fernando Martinez unless he makes a big league club, which we hope he does. Um, but we've got players that are familiar and we've got veteran guys that know how to get ready. It's going to be my job up there along with uh, Obi to basically get them on the right track and then let them go out and play. Jack, thanks so much and best of luck as you come to town. You got it. Looking forward to it.